Hello my Poraholic friends, Loida here from loveacrylicpainting.com. Welcome to my channel again. Today I have a very exciting video for you. Well, exciting for me and I think it's going to be exciting for you because with this video you're going to be learning three ways of doing um, these, you know, rocks, these DIY rocks sparkly rocks for your pore paintings. You can do them any color you want and um, it's just going to be a very cheap way of making these rocks for your pore paintings. So um, in a previ previous video, I showed you how to make these crushed crystals, so these DIY crystals. And I'll link that video in the description box below if you haven't seen it yet. But basically those crystals are, um, so you can use on your pour paintings as well. However, in this video, these are gonna be rocks, okay? I'm gonna be showing you how to do rocks, not crystals, even though they, you know, kind of maybe sound the same because they're sparkly. Uh, however, these are gonna be resembling more like you know, more like rocks, like this kind, like pebbles. So um, this is going to be a, a great alternative, a great way to make your own um, in any color you want. Uh, if you want a metallic or if you want a little bit of sparkle, I'll give you or I'll show you three ways of doing those. Okay. Here are just some examples. Let me just show you again a quick look at what we'll be doing. And then I'll show you the difference because some of these I made them um, with different techniques, different methods. Before we go there, I don't know if you noticed, but I have my new Poraholic shirt. It's a Poraholic definition of basically what's a Poraholic. And I have these available at my um, loveacrylicpainting.com website shop. So just go to loveacrylicpainting.com and on the menu um, there's a tab that says shop and then you'll be able to find either this one the gildan or the one that is made with the bella canvas like, this is just kind of like a regular t-shirt and the other one is super super soft um so yeah and i have this this one in colors or just like regular black and white okay let's go ahead and get started let me turn my camera down Okay, so let's start with method number one. The first thing you're gonna need, the very main ingredient to make your rocks is going to be rock salt. The, the salt that you use to make like ice cream, you can find this at you know your grocery store, Amazon, I'll link it down in the description box below, or you can use, I also found some something similar like this which was also a salt but it was a bath salt it was i found it at um hobby lobby they had it in the section where they have like the oils and the stuff to make soaps and like um like bath salts in that area you can find a big bag i think it was like five dollars 4.99 um, I can't remember how many pounds it had, but it was a pretty big bag. So you can make a pretty big batch of these um, rocks with that bag. And they are very, very similar to this. Like they are chunky pieces of salt. So all you need is that. This is what's gonna make your rocks. And now we're gonna be coloring those uh, that salt in three different ways. And first one, uh, you can use something like this. You can use a spray and basically just spray your rock salt. Um, that is what I did with this one right here and this one. This was made with this metallic silver spray and this one was made with the um, glitter paint from Rust-Oleum. Now, I don't really like how these ones turned out, okay? Because they don't really get covered that well. Let me show you, show you the pieces in my hand. 
Um, they are, you know, still very clear. I guess in, in on camera you can, they look a little bit more golden than they do in person, but in reality, you can still see a lot of white, a lot of the, the rock salt. And you can see, you know, the glitter on them, but it's not like they're completely covered. So that's the downside, I guess. If, if you want this, you know, if this is what you're looking for, if you just want them to have a little bit of sparkle, then go ahead and do this, okay? Use this. These ones did get really well covered. Um, you just have to like spray them a little bit, then mix them up, spray them again, mix them up, spray again, mix them up until you actually get them all evenly covered. But it's not as hard as it, you know, as it sounds. And these I really, really like. They actually look super metallic. Um, they have a lot of shine to them. They just don't have sparkles because obviously this is not a sparkly or a glittery paint. This is just a metallic, but this is a great alternative. If you are planning on, you know, making some of these rocks in maybe like a metallic blue or metallic red, metallic green, um, and you want those colors, but you don't want the glitter. Okay. Um, and you can just spray them and they are like ready to go right away. Like they dry up super fast. They don't stick to each other. You know, they're nice and loose and, um, they're, you can use them right away. So now second option, this is my least favorite one and I'll, I'll tell you why, but you know, if you have these ingredients at home, you can still try them. And so let me just show you what I mean by uh, my second method. The second method is using either acrylic inks or using alcohol inks. So I, I bought these two, gold, silver, and then I already had this green one at home. So I decided to test these. And what I did was I just added my, my salt into one of these containers. And then I added uh, a few drops of the ink, of the alcohol ink or the acrylic ink in there, mixed them really well until they got covered. And then I added my sprinkles right on top and then mixed that in. So this is the silver one that I used with these rocks. And then I used these with these, okay? So the, the reason I don't really like this is because, well, the silver ones turned out pretty good. I, I am impressed with the silver ones, but I'm not as impressed with the gold ones and the green ones. Let me tell you why. why. They just look a little bit dull. I mean, Maybe in camera they look sparkly, but in person they are a little bit dull. And I think it's because you're kind of covering the, the glitter with some of the ink. And so the glitter doesn't shine as well or as good as it should. And also um, the rocks don't get covered very, very well, unless you put a ton of the acrylic ink or the alcohol ink in there. And then another reason I don't really like them is because the glitter doesn't stick to them very well. Because um, you put the, the ink, right? You put the ink first, I mean the rocks first, and then you put the ink and mix it in. And then after that, you put the glitter so yeah, the glitter kind of sticks to them, but you know, you, you're still left with a ton of glitter on your hands. Um, you know, if you put these pieces on a, on a painting, you know, you might end up with a ton of glitter in places where you don't want glitter. However, like there, you can make these if you already have alcohol ink and you don't want to purchase anything extra. Um, if you have acrylic ink, like either of these work well 
uh, there are different kinds of inks. This is acrylic, this is alcohol ink, but these, you know, they both worked out pretty well. This one was alcohol, no, acrylic ink, and these two other ones were alcohol inks. Also, like you, as soon as you color them, they're ready to go. You can use them on your paintings and um, you don't have to wait for them to dry. They don't stick to each other. They don't clump. So yeah, it's a, it's a decent alternative, but you know, it has, it's my least favorite one just because the glitter doesn't stick and because they don't end up looking like super, super shiny. Okay. Now let me show you our third option, which is also one of my favorites. I guess I have two favorite ones, but one of them is for achieving solid colors, solid metallic colors, or even just regular colors. They don't have to be metallic. Like if you want them to be, you know, you just want to cover your, your salt, rocks with blue or green or yellow um you know kind of like the ones that i showed you earlier like these ones you can certainly do that with this type of paint now you won't be able to do that with this third method that i'm going to show you so that's why I'm, I'm saying that i have two favorite methods because with this the spray one i can achieve any color that i want um, and with this other third method, I just, um, I can just get really sparkly ones. So let me show you our third way of doing these rocks and I'll show you how to do them. I'll do a quick demo. Our third way is by mixing Mod Podge, glitter, and our salt rocks. And that's it. Okay. That's all you need. So you're going to need the gloss Mod Podge, the glossy kind, and then any type of glitter, fine glitter is the one that I would suggest that you use. So um, extra fine actually, not the fine one, extra fine. You can find these glitters and almost in a ton of colors. Like you can just see here the, the few examples that I have. I have blue as well, um, purple. This is like even like a black, blackish purple, uh, another kind of blue. So yes, you can find almost like any color. Oh, and these are white ones. So this is one of my favorite ways of doing these because you can get super sparkly ones, super sparkly rocks like these, you can see how golden they look. They are just awesome um, with this third method. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So what you're gonna need is one part Mod Podge, one part glitter, and then five parts of your rock salt. Okay, you're gonna mix these two first. Once those two are really well mixed, then you can add your rock salt. And I just have enough for a small little batch just to kind of show you the process. That's about one part. I'm gonna scrape down a little bit more from the inside. Now you're gonna add one part glitter just, you know, you just mix Mod, Mod Podge and glitter and, and that's it. And now when you mix them, you're going to see that it looks like the color looks toned down because it kind of looks like white. You know, the Mod Podge is, is white, but it will dry clear. So don't worry about that. Okay. At the beginning, you're going to be kind of worried that, oh, it doesn't look quite right. Trust me, let it dry and you will get awesome rocks. Okay. Don't worry about it. Your rocks will look like this, okay? Not like this, so don't worry about that. Now we're gonna add five parts of rocks to that. It's super full, but basically you just mix it up really well until all your rocks are covered. 
And then you can spread them out maybe like in a piece of wax paper um, so that they, they're like, they just dry faster. You can use these like straight from, from here, like one still wet, you can add them, apply them to your painting. And then once they dry, they'll just stick to your painting with the Mod Podge. So the Mod Podge could serve a double purpose. It could serve, uh, it could help, you know, the glitter get stuck to your rocks and it can also help your rocks get stuck to your painting. So you can do that or you can just let them dry and then use them later. So you can make a big batch of these then let them dry and then just save them for a future painting and just have these available whenever you need them. So I will show you how these green ones look once they are dry and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please check down in the description box all of these materials that I just showed you and if you want to purchase anything, I appreciate it if you do it through my affiliate links in the description box. Uh, it's no extra cost to you like the product is gonna be it's gonna cost the same to you whether you buy it through my link or not um, the only difference is that I'll get a few cents which is not much but it, you know it does help this channel uh, to grow it just helps me uh, keep doing videos for you guys so that you can you know make better paintings and have tutorials like this clumping together like this you can either use them like that or you can just break these apart they break really easily as you can see they are not hard at all to break apart so you can break them up into smaller chunks these are the golden ones the ones that were made with the gold glitter and yeah, there you have it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.